In this video, we're going to be looking at the next requirement, which is the flyer. And it says that we need to get the flyer JPEG, which if we go back here, you'll be able to find it. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, just so we can find it quicker. Flyer, there we go. It's this one here, so I'll maximize again. So it is oh, this one here. I'm going to use that uh, and add a suitable image to that flyer. Include the edit fly into home page. So basically, we're going to finish off this image. So I'm going to open this up in Photoshop and keep going down. There it is. And all we need to put is something that will be suitable to fit into this area here. So we've got this whole area at the top. So it's talking about events and if you look at it, you'll see that, actually, let's look at the picture again. We're going to control and plus so we can zoom in. So they're talking about the writing competition, guest authors, writers, workshop, book readings, and criti a critics corner. Um, date, Facebook and Twitter, and so on and so forth. So we just need to find something that would go in there that might be linked to one or more of these items they've listed out here. So. You'll notice there's a big white space, so it's landscape. You could have two pictures side by side, in theory. Um, personally, I, I'm going to lean towards having the one, but it really depends on what they have on offer here. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we could use... I, I'm leaning towards this one, to be honest. Um, just going to keep looking. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking this one here. Just gonna have a look look at the the um, picture again. One second. So suitable image. Yeah. So it's this image. So you don't need to put any more than one in this case. Uh, but like I said, there's nothing stopping you from doing so. So book readings, critics corner, writing competition, guest authors, writers workshops. And you look at this picture again and make sure they are. Yep, yeah, they're definitely books. It's worth checking just in case because sometimes they do put in things that throw you, throw you off or catch you out. And if they were records or CDs, then that would not be suitable. And uh, you might be thinking, wait, why would they put that there? Well, if you look at this hotel image, there's nothing to do with this this organisation whatsoever. So they will sometimes. Uh, throw in something that's completely random just to see whether you're using your brains and use some common sense and initiative to pick things that are going to be suitable. I'm going to go out a little bit and I personally would lean towards using um, things that are not cartoon um, or animated and use images that are look more sensible and more suited to the actual item itself. So it is crime, obviously friction, uh, fiction, crime fiction, um, and we've got a few other items. You know, you've got an image there of maybe a CSI team, police officer there in front of a, his, his vehicle, CSI um, member of staff there. Um, I am leaning towards this. So decide on what image you want. Um, I mean, I guess we could use this. I'm just trying to think here. How can we use that image? Just gonna move up. Let's have a look. No, I'm not going to use that one. Look at this picture again. I'm going to zoom out this time. Control minus. Let's get the overall image. And you have to keep in mind the, the color scheme as well. See what would work with this black, grey, and red color scheme that they have as well. Um, this could work. This could work. I wouldn't use that one unless you crop it out. I won't use that one purely because it's black and white. It doesn't really show much. Um, there's an argument that actually you could use this one because you can see here in the program they've got the crime scene um, banner, which is very similar to, in fact, there it is. But one might say, well, they've used it once, they don't want to use it again. But then you might say, actually, there's more of a cons consistency. So in your evaluation, all you have to do is justify it. So I'm actually going to go for this one purely because I think it'll be it'll work nicer with this image as well. So I'm gonna get this picture here, image two. So over here, file, open and get the image that you want. 
Now again, think about which one you're going to use. Now, just because I use this one here doesn't mean you have to. I've told you what my thinking in for thinking is for choosing that. But like I said, you could just as easily pick the mystery one here because it's talking about writing uh, the book one here. Um, you could use these ones here. The police officers got the colours that are very could you know could very nicely complement the 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 overall look of the image itself. But I'm just think I'm thinking very simply. It's, they've got that already. I may have to you know may just want to use this just to get it in there. So I'm going to use this black arrow and simply just drag it in into here. Now it might be too small or too big. In this case, it's too small. Control and T gives you the ability to transform the image, it's known as free transform. If you want to find it here, you can also. There it is, free transform. Hold on the shift button because we want to keep the proportions. If I don't hold the shift button, I can make it look like this. And it looks completely horrible, absolutely rid ridiculous. So I'm going to undo that, hold on shift this time. Now if I click it, you'll see even if I go in, it's going to keep the proportions. So I'm going to get it out. And in fact, what might be a good idea is get it to the corner, hold the shift, and drag it out. Now we want to get to the edge here, which means I will have to trim some of this off. So I'm going to try and let's have a look. Yeah. What I'm going to have to do is press enter for now. Actually, can I do it from here? Apply. No, I can't because it what will what it will do. Let's have a look. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it up a little bit. I want it really about here. But it's taking it off from the top. So what I might have to do is while it's here, crop out about that much. Let's try to do that. I'm going to delete this off. Just take that out, delete. And drag this in now what you might find is that once you've actually moved something over that the you know your original idea control T uh, may not work as well as you thought uh, uh, as you thought it would do so I'm gonna put it out in here anyway and then see how it looks if I'm not happy with it and there's nothing stopping me from putting something else in there so what I'm going to do I'm gonna leave that there for now and to test it with something else what I could do is find the other image uh, that I could use, so perhaps the, uh, the police officer. I'm going to click on this again. Get it perfectly aligned. Control T. Don't want that white space there. There we go. Enter. There we go. Now I'm going to leave that there for now. There, um, because we want to keep this white area here. Yeah, this white space. Make use of the borders around certain spaces. That's what's known as white space. But I'm going to try a different image just in case. So I'm going to go to File and Open and find something else. That was the simplest uh, solution. Just get an image, crop it up, and throw it in there. Uh, I want to use one of these crime scene images. Maybe, maybe this one, maybe that one. I'll have to see. Let me try this one. Okay, so when this opens up, there we go. Again, I'm just going to drag it in. And I'm going to hide this one here. So if we click on the I, you'll see that disappears. I'm going to Control and T, hold the Shift, drag it to this corner, and then hold Shift and drag it to this corner here. Now what we may have to do is crop with that much off there. But the reason why I don't want to do that is because then it comes all the way up to the person's face. So I'm going to go up to the person's hand. So I'm going to delete that. Press Enter and delete there you are go back into this image crop it out so i want about up to the finger here so i'm going to go in a little bit more about there and get the hand in if i can there we go press enter now use black arrow drag it in and see how this one looks instead push it to the corner Control and T, hold the shift, drag it out. Press enter. Right, so that's that image there. And all I can do, all I need to do is just click this one off, put this one on, and just basically decide which one looks better. 
And I could do that again with the other image that I have, so which is to uh, get the police officer that I thought may look good. There it is, press open. And again, I'm going to drag this in. See how it looks. Control T again, shift, actually drag it to the corner first, then shift, and drag it out. So I will have to take off a little bit of the top of the car. Delete. Crop. I'm going to start off about here. Go up to the hat. There, here we go. Use a black arrow, drag it in. Right, let's have a look. Drag it to the corner, control T, hold the shift. Try to get to the edge. Still too close, but I'm gonna I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Just gonna get that out first. Hold shift. Get it out a little bit more. There we go. Enter, and then I can push it up using the arrow keys. There we go. Okay, so let's have a comparison now. So that's one image. That's option two, and that's option three. So really, there's no right right way or wrong way around this. Just need to decide what you prefer. Um. go um and decide what you think uh, you're, you're you're happy with and to be fair i really can't make my mind up here so what i'm going to do let's have a look i quite like the colors of this and i think that might complement the website more i think my least favorite is this one here so it's between the police officer and this i'm gonna go for the police officer yeah i'm gonna keep the police officer you decide which one you want I'm going to go for this one here, and I'm going to go and save this as. And first things first, let me just double check. Did they mention anything about the the format uh, in this one? No, they did not. At the moment, it says it's a JPEG, so I'm going to keep this as a JPEG. Because this is a JPEG, originally, we need to keep it as a JPEG. So this one, file, and in fact, it's already a JPEG, but what's the size? So I'm going to go and check the size of this image flyer. It is... 548 so it's definitely far too large so we need to definitely convert this so file save for web devices but this time i want to click on here instead of png we're going to choose jpeg look at the size here give it a second 50 so 340 so still quite large and if you can't remember early on in the page on the sorry on the first page it says less than 300 which means it needs to be 299 or less 299 is the top end and at the moment that is not 299 that's 240 okay 240 so what we need to do is, um, is drop it down a little bit so you'll see the percentage here and it doesn't i don't need to go down that much i'm going to make it maybe 80 percent okay and press enter and it should then tell you the size, there you go, 247. I'm happy with that now. Now I can press save. And I'll put it in here. I'm going to put this as a flyer 2, so I know this is my edited version. Just in case I need to make changes to it, again, if I make, I make a mess of something, I have the original one still there. So I'm going to press save. And now... All we have to do is put it in the correct folder. And again, if you can't remember, go back to it and see. It tells you that they want the flyer in the on the home page. Okay, so we're going to go to the home page. There it is. I'm going to zoom out a little bit just see so just so I can see what I'm working with. And I reckon it, this will be a nice little spot for it. Now I have a feeling I may have to reduce the size a little bit, and that's completely fine. But let's throw it in. This is just an image. There's no second version, unlike the banner or this competition page that we created. So I'm going to go to Insert and just simply click on Image. As soon as I've done that, I should be able to find the image that I've just created. Fly, there it is, number two, and press OK. Say no to that. Give it a second. Alternate text flyer with information of events that are planned 
or yet to come or something like that okay um press okay and there we go far too large as you can see very very large so what we're going to do is reduce the size and again there's nothing wrong with doing that and what i reckon it would be a good idea is I'm going to go for the size of this, the width of this here, the button. So the button here is 683. So I'm going to make sure this is about 680 and drop that down as well. So I'm going to make that 680. Oh, there. Click away. So that drags it in. You can see now. Decent kind of width, but it's still far too tall. So what we need to do now is reduce that as well. Now, easy, easiest thing is obviously to drop this number here, but you can drag this up as well just to see how it looks. Can you see? As you drag it up, the sharper it starts to look. Now try to keep the proportions as close to the original as you can. If it gets blurry as and you can't read it anymore, then it's too far too um far too uh, blurry. If sorry, if it's far too blurry, then the proportions are not right. So you can see that I've got that there, and I'm quite happy with the way that looks. I'm going to save it for now and go back here, go to the home page, and see how it looks. So if I can read it, it's fine. So you can see that's 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 okay. I can afford to maybe make this a little bit. Um, Reduce the size, for the width of the of the fly itself, perhaps, but that itself is okay. So what we might do is basically we've got the space here, but I think at the moment this might make more sense to put. It might make more sense to put the competition page thumbnail here, but right now, um, I don't need to make any decisions just yet because I need to know what I'm working with. Um, but at the moment, I'm not happy with this still. I think that's still too large. So what I might do is reduce the size even further. And all you have to do is just drag it from the corner or you can type it in. Now, the problem with the typing in is you have to really know exactly what size you want. Now, you could get the calculator out and work out the percentages and drag it in and, and, uh, uh, and, and reduce it like that. But that can take some time. So I'm just going to drag it in, keeping in mind of the space that I have on the right-hand side. And making sure that it's aligned from the left hand side. So I'm not doing this, for example. You can see here that the right hand side here from the dotted line is far too much. I'm taking far too much compared to the bottom. So as long as you have the proportions the same, equal on both sides, it should be okay. So if I click away now, you can see that it's pushing it up. If I save it now and then test it, it should. Click on homepage, can you see? even better now the problem obviously is that it can get a little hard to read can you see so we don't want to make it too small yeah so don't get too wrapped up with how large this image is itself it's how big this is here so i'm going to go back and undo that there we go go back to the original size and you can play around with it and i always end by fine tuning the website so right now i'm going to leave it as it is and that is basically as simple as that. Guessing it in there as soon as you made your flyer. Okay, so decide what image you want, crop it, throw it in there, save it as whatever it was. So in this situation, it says follow whatever it says here. So you can see you must use the file formats as stated in each requirement. And since this one, the flyer was originally a JPEG, I've kept as a JPEG. Once you got it saved, insert it as an image. That's it.